the father of vascular surgery, Dr. Alan Downs, is from Winnipeg. So this city had incredible history of vascular surgery. I was late to the game. I uh, was on the internal medicine, um, anti-surgery kind of uh, train for the longest time during med school. And then I started clerkship um, on vascular surgery, lucky enough to get uh, four week rotation. And it completely turned my whole perspective on residency upside down. So the unique thing about the University of Manitoba vascular surgery program is the fact that we have one of the highest rates of open surgery training experiences in Canada. We not only have top-notch endovascular training here, but we have probably the best open training that you can get in the country. We take a resident every other year. We are very focused on keeping it small, we are invested in that resident. We want to make sure that resident becomes the best that they can possibly be. So they are the entire focus. Even since my first year uh, residency, then I've been uh, either uh, first assisting or doing procedures where in other sites that you may not have those opportunities just because by virtue of the fact that there are just so many other trainees. One of the nice things about vascular surgery is you do get often a long-term relationship with the patient because you see them over the years. But also I find it very satisfying to get patients through a difficult time. I really enjoy building uh, patient relationships and long-term care um, that doesn't end at the end of the operating room or in the post-anesthesia care unit. Adds incredible value to the meaning of what it means to be a, a physician and a surgeon or a vascular surgeon. Um, brings meaning and purpose to your work. So what fostered my path from vascular surgery? As a student, I wasn't sure what area I wanted to pursue, but I did recognize that some level that I liked doing procedures. I ended up shadowing a general in vascular surgery during my student summer holidays, and this ignited my interest and passion for surgery. I then entered general surgery residency without a real commitment to a specialty until about third year, where the skills, knowledge, and dedication of the vascular surgeon were even more apparent and appreciated. I got the vascular bug at that point, and I've never regretted that choice. Vascular surgery combines and demands the ultimate technical skills and challenges that any surgeon should aspire to. We operate from head to toe. We do both open and endovascular procedures for our patients in an ever-changing technical environment. It's challenging, it's stimulating, and it's a lot of fun. Whenever I see a student with an interest in surgery, and especially as individuals keenly engaged and also have that vascular bug, that need to know more and want to commit to vascular surgery, it really is one of the most satisfying and humbling feelings that one can experience as a teacher and surgical mentor. I feel very comfortable uh, you know, approaching any of my staff um, and just sitting down with my notebook and just saying, hey, could we please go through this topic? And they'll, they'll be more than happy to sit down and go through something in great detail with me and explain things to me. And I want to make sure they have the best possible training before they're set released onto the public. So I, I care about every moment. I'll spend weekends giving them oral examinations, give oral examinations in the operating room. I really care that they learn how to operate both endo and open, and that they have research experiences if they want them. We all get along, we genuinely like each other, and it gives us an opportunity to learn from each other, and I think it's, it's a good example to set for trainees, and it's a very healthy learning environment. That's exactly what you need in your training program, is to be immersed into the deep end, being in a small group, with tons of exposures, and I have full confidence that in a year, at the end of my five-year training, I'll be a very competent uh, vascular surgeon ready to operate anywhere in Canada, or the world for that matter. <laughs>